Welcome back. And I'm shooting something. For a last little bit here. All right. So you sat in a class that none of you understood enough about. One of you understood a little bit about it. Maybe the oh. seaweed class would have been better for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> like, Pretend it wouldn't have been challenging. I mean, two of you just, like, sat flabbergasted, and then another two of you sat mostly flabbergasted, and then one of you was like, Okay! <laughs> I got the gist of it. You you at least understood kind of what they were talking about, not how... I understand the basics of temporal manipulation. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to ask. <laughs> yeah, about as much knowledge as watching a YouTube video on it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like when you watch the How It's Made for How Crayons Are Made. You get what it does, you can't do it. It's true. I make lovely crayons, what are you talking about? <laughs> anyway, so after your event, uh, you can, you're taken to kind of to the cafeteria to hang out for a while. You probably would have been hanging out at the cafeteria a lot longer, but no, you only hang out there for a short time. Not really enough to get a decent meal, but if you guys want to pick up some food here, <coughs> they probably have, like, some kind of stew available this time of night. I'm going to be nice, and whoever wants my food credit can have. I'm there gonna you go, make Kazra. some good berries. You can yeah. have my extra food credit. I'm gonna look at you. Do you really need your? I guess not. Is there like a student walking around I can give it to? They have meal plans. They, yeah. have, they really? already have all their food. Paid. They've got like magical identification that they can just be like, "We get food." Oh, <laughs> I, uh, I I give mine to Kazrin. <laughs> You're getting three meals, Kaz. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna eat some of it, put some of it in my bag for later. Either that or you're gonna try to make you a very fat guy. I'm gonna eat <laughs> Chubby I'm gonna eat for later. Do you want one of my berries? I'll take a berry. <laughs> what are you going berry? to do with it? Shove it in your skull nostril? I mean, it, it heals me. <laughs> Good are you damaged? Good berries are about the only thing. No, not damage. How, uh, how long do your berries? How long do your berries last, Wintress? Why are you talking to me? Well, I, well, I assumed that you had at least one berry to share. Yeah, I'm sharing it with Carrie. <laughs> what about the rest of your friends? <laughs> Oh, has a berry too, but he's already got a giant pile of food. <laughs> You're Sorry, all skin and bones. You don't need no berry. Well, actually, wouldn't he need berries more? <laughs> yeah. They're good literally. for my complexion. Oh, I'm sorry, he's all bones. He don't. Need <laughs> You can rub it on it. Rub it on his bones. I don't want to touch cut, cut. him or rub his you bones. Cut. I that is my so You can color him. All with right, him. all right, Wintress. I just, just just wanted to try one. Was all. Can't even eat it. <clears throat> well, that was a fascinating lecture. I mean, it's uh, not anything I'm quite interested in. I never really went in for the study of these things. It doesn't really match. I kind of wanted to see the seaweed, but I decided to you know stick with you folks. Oh, hey, then you want a berry? Oh, no, thank you. I could produce some good berries of my own. And good berries are fine and all, but just, I prefer full meals. It's unless I'm desperate in traveling. Ugh. I've been in that spot, though. I've been in that spot where you just have to rely on good berries all the time. You get tired of them after, like, oh, three weeks of just good berry, straight good berry, good berry, good berry, good berry. Mm, sorry, sorry. They turn the bad berry? They do. <laughs> Old memory. Anyway. <laughs> they could taste like strawberry. So, cards, anyone? Sign me up! I can play cards for a bit. I will join in the card play. <laughs> wow. 
I will whip out my deck. What card game are we playing today? Blackjack. <laughs> okay. I'm anyway, multiple people so <clears throat> you'll, okay. you'll hang around for a little while longer, and eventually, though, uh, Iron will come and get you. Um, <coughs> he'll be like, well, I hope you enjoyed the lecture. Uh, um, I hope that uh, things went well with it. It's just not my... The uh... teacher insulted my mother. teacher did not insult your mother. Oh. There is your sister. <sighs> <laughs> I found what I could understand quite interesting. I'll have to tell them that at least one of you could understand it. The only reason he let you in on that is that he believed that none of you would understand it, and it was just more of a, a laugh at off that than it. So, oh, uh, in that case, tell him to eat shit. <laughs> he just, you know, Our goblin I found this is why I'm not allowed in academia. I found some of it interesting. <clears throat> Let's adjourn back to my office and we can finish our discussions from earlier. Indeed. Uh, he'll lead you back to his office and then kind of uh, sit down uh, behind his desk uh, and kind of turn back towards you. Well, I do have a number of classes still to teach uh, on my schedule for the next week. Now... You could wait for that week, and I could go with you. I should have some time off. Not an incredible amount of time, but long enough that I think I could be absent for a few small trips. Or, if you're quite desperate on traveling right away, I could arrange for an associate of mine to lead you. But know this, this associate is much less familiar with the device that will be used, and uh, um, as much as I am... Uh, feel like the safety of my current submersible is well. Well, there are some experimental systems in place in it that um, haven't been fully tested. <clears throat> Do you have a, a manual that can be read? Nope. I'm from, I mean, I'm an, art, I'm an artificer. I'm familiar with machination. Unfortunately, there is no manual. At least I have not written one yet. Currently, there is no need for mass-producing submersibles. At most, there's a system to uh, get students from the surface down to the Tlarion of the Deep. Having an actual vehicle which can take you to there or places under the water has not been needed. So you don't have blueprints or anything? Um, well, uh, technically, no. I acquired the basis of the submersible many years ago. It's apparently an old... Um, Thranian design. Hmm. If you had any documents, I'd be interested in seeing them. I'm a shipwright. I appreciate watercraft. Well, the Thran developed much artifice and many interesting devices. Uh, it appears that one of them had managed to develop this uh, a basis for this kind of submersible design. It didn't seem to go many places, as, um, unfortunately, uh, there aren't many accounts of versions of this submersible existing at all. In fact, my copy of it here is probably one of five known ones to have ever been found over the course of the last uh, 10,000 years since the Thrans. Huh. Very impressive. Very impressive. But most of them are not in good shape or destroyed. I believe when I uh, originally acquired it, I only heard that there was two others in existence. Um, it was out of folly that I kind of took it originally, just to see what it was. And uh, out of a small hobby, it's why I've rebuilt it and made it actually usable. And it's just more putting in new systems that I hope were compatible, and uh, replacing some of the older systems which were no longer were functioning. Plus also trying to figure out what some of the older systems that are still in there do. 
and the combination of these three things has developed the vehicle as it is now. I had to replace the old power stone uh, system as uh, getting working power stones is very difficult now. And uh, getting a replacement system possible? Power stones are tricky to say the least. And dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous. very dangerous. Uh, that's fair. Um, well, I'll leave it up to my companion. I'll leave it up probably more to Nim about if we stay longer or just wait. <clears throat> my schedule is pretty unfortunately open. I w was hoping to arrive in the Northern Lands within a year or two. You forget that I have uh, much time on my hands, and unfortunately it's uncomparable to your folks as you... Oh, but tend to be much shorter left than me, save for Max and uh, Claude. Yes. Blessing or curse that may be. Yes. So, um, I have time either way. I don't mind waiting for my friend, but if uh, you feel like we should be rushed in our journey, um, and part ways, that's fine. Either way, I would assume that we would head back to town at least for the evening or a couple evenings and recuperate ourselves. It's just whether or not we'd stay for a week or two in town or head out in a couple of days. A week is fine with me. We can. A week would mean the city. safer travel. <coughs> Let's take our time. <coughs> I think we've risked our lives when once too many. Might as well yuck it up while we can. Then, um, We've been waiting a lot recently on all these boats that are terrible death traps. I can <laughs> wait longer to get on another one. We'll wait then. Agreed. Um, Alright then. Um, Iron will wait for you to be finished up with your classes. Uh, we're staying currently at the, uh, Red Hat. I'll arrange for a few weeks of, um, uh, stay there. I'm sure I can. Uh, just to send a messenger when, uh, you're finishing up your classes, and we'll arrange for perhaps two days after that time to, uh, take your submersible. It might give you some time to, uh, iron out some of those kinks, hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe we can find some odd jobs around town to do in the time. Earn some extra money. <coughs> Alright. So, you'll settle into a couple of weeks in the city of... Uh, Orv... Tongue twister myself there. Orvada. I was going to say something else entirely. I'm like, wait a second, brain. Work. Orville Redenbacher. The OC. <coughs> the OC. Yo. Oklahoma City. Uh, is there anything you want to do in the meantime? Because you could, uh... There are things to do in the area. I'm guessing Such our, as? I'm guessing our bard's gonna want to play at some tavern. Uh, well, um, you technically would have time if you wanted to visit the island of Vesuva. What is that? Oh, was that the changeling place? That is the home of shapeshifters. Yo, that could be cool. Sounds rad. I would be interested in that. Who wants to? I want to go there. Can we go there? Uh, you could arrange for it. You've got, as I said, you have like two weeks of time. Uh, that could be something you could do. It'll probably take you a couple of days to arrange uh, <coughs> for travel to it. It's not far travel overall. Uh, your situation on Wasala, thankfully, is not far from it. Um, it lies off the western coast of the island, so it is a little bit of travel still, nonetheless. Uh, over land. So it would be a few days journey over land and then a few days journey back, of course. And then whatever time you would stay there. <coughs> but if you want to do that, we can, I can, uh, Nim can arrange for you for the travel uh, to and back. Yes, please. I, <laughs> yes, let's do it. I like adventure. <coughs> I'll, uh, I mean, 
I'll remain here and take care of the rooms and such. Just uh, arrive back when you're done. Have you ever been there? Ah, the Suva? No, personally, I have not. It's a ma it's a strange land, home of a group of shapeshifters, land of illusions. Um, when the temporal uh, catastrophes happened, it was very heavily damaged. Uh, though it is still in um, decent uh, condition, at least it still exists. Um, legend says, which uh, again, I'm sure if you would see it directly, you'll know uh, the reflection of the former island and how it was was in the waters. Hmm. Interesting. I want to invite Radiant to go. Uh, sure. She can come along. She she'd be <gasps> okay with that. I can go explore, Angel Girl. Also, I I would like to try to ask around town, see if anyone knows any more about the island. Sure. <clears throat> um, you will know that the Vesuva is currently uh, reigned over by a queen. Uh, her her name and a lot of Vesuva is. Shrouded. The fact is that the entire island is a mystery in a way. Just as similar as it's a home of shapeshifters, it's a home of illusions. Uh, very few travel to it because of this. Um, <clears throat> there are warnings that, in fact, some of the illusions are so potent, they have been known to create murderous doppelgangers of anyone that visits. Lovely. Uh -oh. <laughs> Granted, Vesuva has lost a lot of its root. It's it's an it the island itself is no longer pristine. It's in ruins mostly, with very few parts of it under control. You would have to travel through the ruins into the center of Vesuva, into the um core where the queen still reigns if you were to find anybody of note to speak to. Otherwise, you'd be dealing with uh, old ruins and the ghosts within them. Well, I guess we'll head towards the center when we get there. Alright, the journey to Susuva is not a difficult one. In fact, then you would have to... Uh, you're going to either have to fire, hire a ferryman or some kind of boat to take you across the island fairy man uh there probably is one crazy man that uh would ferry you <laughs> there's like the, so you'll find like if you're looking around asking around for travel across the waters you'll find this crotchety old man who's kind of hunched over <clears throat> uh you see he goes he, he like he uh, he seems to still have some decent muscle tone as you can see that he's got this kind of like boat with oars in the back. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, already what, like, right, he, he's right. got like you, it looks like he's got like uh, one uh, like a, like a metal eye, so it's like a replacement eye that's metal, and his other eye is kind of squinty. So you can just see like this large kind of like steel orb in like his one eye socket that just kind of stares at you creepily. Hey, Mr. Death Trap Wielder. I, I, I'm going to look at you, Max. Maybe you should get a pair of them. <coughs> Funny guy. Yeah. Yeah. How so I, I, hear you, Def I hear you're looking for a way to the island. Yes! <laughs> Have you been like there? Oh, yes! Can you yes, let's go. <laughs> Way to cut to the chase! I'm excited. I like both. That's like when you press fast forward in an RPG. It's like, yeah, let's just fucking go. <laughs> five of your finest gold. There's five of us. Wait, five, five each? No, five for you all. 
Yeah, take, take it out of the group, wait, bud. Wait, oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What's, do, is there like insurance for this <coughs> boat thing? Like, how, how do we know we won't like drown in uh, the water? We won't. It's I'm a boat, you can drown. All right, that's you fair. drown in boats, that's what they do. They drown you. Listen, I'm coming Well, they drown here. some people. We're not going to sink. We'll you don't have to worry about drowning, remember? No, I know that, but I don't want to have to walk like 10 miles back to shore. Poor crazy dude. It'll be fine. And if Kazra was Carrie the grand here, swim. I would object, but I'll say yes. Carrie can't swim. I can barely swim. Together, we will drown. We have Kazra. He yeah. can fix. Yeah. Sure. I want to go to the island. Let's go to the island. Let's go to the island right now. I took the money so out. The death trap owner, can you take us to the island? <laughs> Let us go! It is time to travel again! <laughs> sit down, what, sit is down! Is he a witch? <laughs> he's got, he's got, Why like, does he like, laugh like that? <laughs> he, he, just, he just like cackles, and he's got like, he's, he's missing he's some teeth. Doppelganger. Uh, he kind of like, the hunched man will get down, and will just start rowing. And you'll row. Can I give an insight check on him? <laughs> sure! <laughs> Crazy old dude. That's all yeah, this is like the one dude. character we need to question, he but we're just not. Very, very insane. <laughs> <laughs> there's crazy. There's something very wrong with this oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Does yeah, he at least crazy. seem to know what he's doing? Oh, he seems to be very good at rowing a boat. <laughs> and he's he taking seem to know where he's going. Oh, he's taking you out into the fog and mists that surround the island of Vesuva. So, Death hey, Trap man. owner, <coughs> why why do you take people out to Crazy Island? Because there are so many crazy enough to pay. That's true. That's You're that. right, Mister Death. Trap. Also, my mother was a shapeshifter. Oh. Oh, was she? Yes. That's why my eye, he's pointing to the metal one, <laughs> can see all the illusions. Oh, you're cool, Mr. Crazy Man. Yes. Would you be Winter, going stop to calling him crazy. Us? Oh, I will not go on the island, though. There's only death there now. Oh. Death and a few life. Death and life. Mm -hmm. When are you going to come pick us up? Oh! Well, if you survive, I'll show up in four days. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to think we shouldn't do this, guys. <laughs> we already paid. Did we? We're already on the water. <laughs> Wait, are we? Yes. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> You're already in the <laughs> fog. <laughs> You did. He actually did like bite down on each of the gold too when he got it. You know to check them. Oh my god! <laughs> and then he like put them in his robes. He does not have very good clothes too. It's like kind of tattered and ripped, and he's just shoving it like somewhere in his pants. I was gonna or say, something. does he even have pockets? I, you don't think he does? You think he just has gold he in his underwear? He found some pockets. He, he, he found gold. Pockets. He's got gold in his underwear. Oh, no. he, he oh, boy. In, he walks away and the gold on the ground just fell through. The thing is, he, he was just standing on his boat the entire time and waited for you to get on. So. Oh, oh this is creepy. Uh-huh. Yeah, this uh, is not good. The fog kind of mist will just kind of cling around the ship. As all, it's, you no longer hear the waves. It just gets quiet. All you hear is the slush, slush, slush of the rowing. Slushy. Yeah, of the rowing of the boat. You know, that kind of like just the sound of the oars. <coughs> As he presses... We're going to have four days on this island. Four days of adventure. Four days of adventure, Kaz. Yeah. I'm looking forward Maybe to Maybe four time. days of murder. I like murder. Listen, we been pretty, <laughs> pretty conflict-free for a while. I wouldn't mind the fight. Mr. Boatman. Yes. Man, man. Do you know how long it takes to get to the center of the... Oh, no. No one knows anymore. Did you forget? It is a land of death. So many and died. some life. Well, a few here and there. 
some of the illusions are alive, and there still are some of the shape changers who once lived there. Is your mother still alive? Oh no. She died. How old are you? Old. <laughs> Can you quantify that with a number, good sir? No! I forgot! <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> I like this, man. I, I like I, I, I'm gonna pull you a little close to me, Max. How do you feel about this radiant? How do you feel about this crazy guy? Keep an eye on me, please. Um, he seems nice. Will do. I don't know if I know, he seems my really other nice natures might come out here. I was alive when it all happened. Nope. Not. Oh, you really old? It the the temporal catastrophe was only like sixty years ago, so <laughs> he you know. really old. Oh, yeah. He certainly is over sixty. Over 60. He looks kind of like <laughs> eighty or ninety, maybe. Is he like at least part human? Oh, he looks just full human. He okay. Ish. You don't know, like maybe he didn't actually have a shape changer. He's for an eighty-year-old with buff muscles. He is. He is very buff for it. He he <laughs> apparently gets a good workout daily. Well, it's probably just his like torso and arms. Oh, oh yes, his, <laughs> his legs. His, really his, his legs are very leg day <laughs> for sixty years. <laughs> he skipped leg day for years. That sounds probably about right. His upper body is probably much more jacked than his lower body. He walks on his hands. So punch in the next week, but he can't kick for shit. Yep. His kicks are killing <coughs> you there that week. Anyway, yeah. uh, yeah. He will lead you, uh, through the mists. And eventually, though, they will kind of part, revealing what looks to be the ruins of a once- proud place. There are statues, grand statues and towers now lying in ruins in the water. The place is dead in a way. It is suffering. A land I'm going to look for the reflection in the water. And indeed, the what you see, the little you see of the reflection is beautiful. You can't see much. Hmm. As the fog and the mist and the darkness around this place still remains. And he brings you to shore. And with another chuckle. <laughs> ah, I'll be back in four days! See you then! I expect you all to be see dead! I don't... Me too, but I will be here. I'll you know what this alive. reminds me of? Do you guys ever play the first Dead Rising where the helicopter pilot just leaves you in like the zombie infested mall for three days? He's like, Yeah, I'll come back if you don't die, Frank. Like, it's literally that. <laughs> He's gonna row off slowly into the mist and disappear. If our corpses are here, take them back, please. Can we hear his I'll voice eat them! <laughs> I don't intend on dying ever, so this should be fine. <laughs> He'll yell Can back. I hear his if I find your corpses, I'll eat them! <laughs> Oh my lord. It's okay, I'll make sure to poison all of your corpse. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, we'll, well end I it here. I don't think you have to worry about that with Max. <laughs> <laughs> he's just you bones, know, no skin. He's yeah, a dog thank god, god I can't be eaten. That's all he is. I mean... Well, he could gnaw on you. He could gnaw on your yeah, bones. Yeah, he could. He could nibble. Yeah, he, like, could, he could gnaw on if them. If he has any teeth left. <laughs> he does, he has very nice looking teeth. He has like, you know, eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but anyway, we'll end it here with you on Vesuva. The creepy island. The creepy island. I'm death! <laughs> oh shit, dog. We're in Scooby Doo Zombie Island. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if you see any cat fuck, just run. Run away. No, run Dead away from rising, Scrappy Doo. Crossing with Scooby Doo. No, no. See, yep. the zombies are fine. The cat lady and the one cat sailor. Those people suck. What about the Gardner is a cop. It's a good movie. 
I know, but still. <laughs> it's like you know, it's... Anyway. Alright. Some shout outs. So much I, I forgot, you. like, initial shout outs entirely, so I'm just gonna do. Um, I don't know. Well, we were talking about Meteor Charm, so... Meteor, yes. We were, we were talking about stuff that broke my soul. Um... We broke your soul this entire session. What are you talking about? Lindsay, we'll start with you. We'll go color order. Yay! This time. Normally, we go reverse color order for, for outros. We'll do color order for, in, for outros, because I forgot to do intros. I'm Lindsay, and I do Lindsay things. I've been dying in Final Fantasy fourteen recently. So you can check me out at tantus.tv.twitch. Alright then. And then, uh, Joe. I'm Joe. I'm on this channel. I'll see everyone on Saturday for some discussing tabletop and Sunday for grinding gear as they go out into the sandstorm that is raging on the planet. Ooh, nifty sandstorm. And then, uh, Why are you going to the sand store? Because apparently sand we're storm. like we're like in like super future, but apparently like it's like also post apocalyptic, I guess, or something. <coughs> so Are you wait, sand? So so it's Shadowrun. <laughs> it's it's super future, but post apocalyptic. In a way, uh, Lee. Well, there was a war of gods. Uh, Hey guys, I'm Jesse Belmont, your noble vampire hunter. Uh, I speedrun a lot of games. I'm on. Uh, I've, I'm trying to speedrun 100 unique games. I've done 75, and I am slowly chipping away at this goal. So yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> and then uh, fish. Hi, I'm fish. I got a big steel D20. I'm feeling good. You do indeed have a big steel D20. Uh, and then Mads to finish us out. I'm here. Believe it or not. I'm just very sick right now. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. <coughs> uh, I'm Ted Snyder Van Jacobin, uh, Lord and Emperor. I am here relatively daily. Uh, I'll probably stream... I don't know if I'll do Seven Days or Subnautica tomorrow. And then I'll get to some new... Uh, I'll add some new stuff in the rotation next week. But if you're looking for RPGs, of course, Joe shouted out uh, Discussing Tabletop, which is not an RPG, but is a tabletop-related thing, which I'll talk about with him with my PAX East adventures that are related to tabletop, because there was some. Uh, grinding Gears on Saturday. For next week, uh, Tuesday, uh, Records of Evil at 10 a.m. EST. Legacies of Cain at 2 p.m. Uh, EST. And then this show should be back on next Thursday at 8 p.m. EST for more adventures uh, with them on Vesuva. And we'll see how things go there. And then they make it to a submersible. Who knows? We'll see how fast things go. We'll see how much they dawdle in a land of illusions and shapeshifters. <laughs> and, you know, dead. Also. No, well, that kind of describes me in a way. Yep. So, we'll see how it goes next week. But anyway, uh, thanks for everybody joining. Check out links below. All that kind of stuff. Uh, thanks you for all the support for everybody. And, uh... See you next time. Bye. Bye.